Gold prices hit a two-month low today, pressured by a talks of a deal on the debt ceiling in the U.S. and a possible pause in interest rate hikes by the U.S. Fed Reserve. Prices have fallen from 60,680 rupees per 10 grams in the Delhi spot market to 59,767. The fall has been particularly steep in the past two weeks. We are joined by Navneet Damani, Vice President, Commodity Research at Motila Loswal Financial Services and Vandana Bharti, AVP Commodity Research at SMC Global to discuss the precious metal. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, let me start off uh, with you, Vandana, and get a sense from you because just when everyone was anticipating gold to hit those record levels, given fears around the U.S. debt ceiling, uh, we've actually seen a complete reversal and quite a steep one at that in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, a way too. Actually, uh, it hit the high of dollar two zero eight five, and from there we have seen a fall, and now it is trading near nineteen fifty dollar kind of level, and it is uh, almost uh, a fall of more than one thirty dollar in a uh, month time. So yes, uh, uh, the more fall is expected in this market because we have some negative triggers for gold, and one is that there is a positive talk on uh, debt ceiling, and dollar index technically even it is looking uh, high and likely to touch one zero six, which is very uh, negative. For any commodities prices, especially gold, so gold will react on that if it touches the 106 or 107 mm -hmm. level. Uh, another uh, thing is that in this week we are expecting some positive data, and there are three uh, crucial GDP data from uh, India, Italy, and Germany. And all three, it is expected to come in uh, positive zone. So it will again give a pressure uh, in gold counter, bullion counter, in fact. And the safe haven buying, we uh, we may see it will steal the safe. Even buying from gold counter. So, in international market, we are expecting that there should be a decline towards the level of $1920. If we talk about the Indian market, 58,500, 58,400 is a very good support. And considering the uh, depreciation in INR, we are expecting that there should be a limited downside in Indian gold market. All right, so limited downside. Now, Neetha, let me get your view in as well, given the, uh, you know, variety of factors at play. Let's talk about the global market first and whether or not you feel some of those triggers have receded, uh, you know, given that uh, the debt ceiling talks seem to be on track now. However, the Fed is yet to hike rates and it looks like they're going to be doing that. Well, yeah, to, to be very fair, gold has its mm -hmm. own set of uh, fundamentals which are driving the prices at this point in time. We started the year on a very flattish note, uh, but uh, the rally has caught up by everybody by surprise from $1,650 to $2,080. Uh, that was a non-stop run-up which was seen in gold. Uh, however, I strongly believe at that point in time that the markets had overshot themselves and were due for a correction, and that is what we are witnessing at this point in time. Uh, now, to talk about uh, the debt ceiling, I think that's a largely done deal, and it's not the first time that the de de debt ceiling overhang is uh, kind of impacting the market. Uh, of course, it uh, gives an impetus to safe haven assets, but that is not uh, getting reflected at gold at this point in time, which gives us an indication that uh, sooner or later, probably in a week's time, we will have some uh, probably conclusive result out of the debt ceiling the fiasco. Uh, to top it up, we had uh, some banks which were under stress in the U.S. and the expectation of uh, a possible pause uh, over the next couple of uh, Fed meet. But the now chances have now started to once again indicate of a 25 basis point hike uh, uh, as we approach the next uh, U.S. Fed meet. Uh, I, I strongly believe that gold prices, if, if there is uh, some more... Uh, flesh or probably some more bad news coming in from macro front or uh, uh, any escalation in the war, then uh, there could be a strong positive upset, uptrend in gold prices. Otherwise, uh, say probably for the next couple of quarters, we've already hit the top and we could be heading downwards. All right. Possible 10% downtrend, that's actually quite significant. Well, then let me bring you back in here. And you also talked about the factors not really stacking up. For those that were already invested in the yellow metal, should they be looking to book some profits? And for those who were perhaps looking for other asset classes to invest in, would you advise just sticking to equities then or any other commodities right now if, if we're anticipating softening when it comes to gold? Yeah, it depends upon duration. If uh, they, uh, they have uh, invested for short term, then definitely this is the time to book the profit. But if uh, uh, anybody has a vision for a year or one and a half year, so, like, um, I'm still very bullish in gold because, uh, uh, see, if we see the economic indicators, global PMI is near 50. Mostly the major economies' uh, PMI, they are uh, below 50. Even uh, China PMI is 47 right now. So, th these things are indicating that the economic health is really not very good. And uh, definitely the safe haven buying will come, and it will reflect in the currency factor as well. 
So another 25 basis point hike, if it happens, then it may give a temporary downside to the to the gold prices. But again, it will uh, again give the pressure to the economic performance. And safe haven buying will return, and definitely it should. Uh, uh, start an uptrend from the month of September because if we see the seasonality, if we uh, see the facts, uh, ch check the facts. After since 1976, we have only seen uh, seven or eight times that gold moved down in the month of September. So this is the time to go for seasonal uh, seasonal buying in gold. So other lower uh, side in gold, it is considerable to very good buying point for gold for the entire year and fourth quarter definitely will be for gold. And there we can uh, expect that new record high should be made there in international market as well as in domestic market. So for short term, I'm bearish in gold very for mm. very short term. But if somebody um, uh, took the gold for long time, I would suggest that hold your gold in your portfolio and it will definitely safeguard your portfolio. And uh, for 2020, in international market, um, I'm expecting 20, 21, 25, 21, 25 dollar. In domestic market, I'm considering the new high of 63,000 to 63,500. So again, it will be a win-win situation for 2023 in gold, and it will be another year of fight for gold. Would you agree? Uh, let me get, <laughs> let me also get uh, Nathan on this uh, to understand if he's uh, concurrent with the kind of targets on the higher side here, Navneet. Okay, she said short term we could possibly see a blip, but would you be in uh, in concurrence with the uh, target on the higher side? Well, it's a divided opinion at this point in time, and uh, it, it's really difficult for the investors also to figure out what's to be done. But uh, you've already seen about the 7% correction in the domestic market or probably the international markets mm -hmm. also uh, in the last one month's time frame. And uh, I think uh, that comes on the back of 20% uh, successive rally over the last four yeah. months. Uh, uh, now, to, to time it here is a little difficult. Uh, maybe, I, I, as I mentioned, uh, maybe 2, 3, 5 percent upside could be in store, uh, but uh, from a medium term perspective, I'm not pretty really confident. I would rather place my bets on silver, uh, probably expecting a revival of in the industrial economies uh, and uh, probably a strong, strong pent up demand coming in from China. So, my money would be on silver rather than gold at this point in time. Uh, you know, let's get your view, Vandana, on silver and whether or not we'll see better opportunity for returns there. Yeah, uh, silver uh, is a shining metal, and the shine will increase by the um, in the years because uh, the more we talk about clean energy, green energy, green environment, clean environment, the uh, more silver will be used uh, by the various like companies and factories and everywhere. And uh, since 20, uh, 2012, we have seen first time in 2022 that the uh, demand will uh, demand surpass the supply side. Okay. So it is happening, and even in this year, uh, the uh, demand will higher than the supply side. So this time we are expecting that the gold-silver ratio should improve towards uh, 1 is to 75. It hit the low of 1 is to 95, 1 is to 97 uh, in 2022, 2022 when the uh, war occurred what is started. Mm -hmm. So like uh, in coming years, we are expecting that silver will outperform gold. And in international market, we are expecting that there should be a, a, a higher side target of around $35 to $36. And uh, surprisingly, uh, it, is, uh, it hit a record high of $50. And now even now it is trading near the level of $25. So it is almost half prices down from the record high and gold is making record high every day. So uh, uh, this is the time when silver will outperform gold and the industrial demand is increasing and it will uh, push up the silver prices and marginally the silver ETF buying is also increasing. So, so this is another positive factor and in domestic market mm -hmm. we are expecting 85,000 kind of level next year in silver. Great speaking to both of you and uh, hearing uh, both your views. I'm glad we found you know, some consensus at the end of it and good to hear what's happening in the world of precious metal. Thanks so much for joining us.